Wow, folks. Okay, listen. The LCB did not call me today. I signed up online, did all of that, and they didn't call my black ass. Isn't that something? Yeah. And uh, I was going to run through the things. I guess I'll run through them now and just put it up. But uh, Peter Manning, you know, these guys made some good points about the L GLBTQ uh, plus community, the way they've been railroaded. And, and but yeah, black's been railroaded before that, you know, and, and, and deeper than that. So anyway, um, I was just going to ask them, look, I was going to tell them. I sat here three years ago with someone from the GLBTQ community, Joey Weiser. We exposed the first lie about cannabis in this area. And that was the notion that uh, Sean Kip Cannabis was Sean Kip Cannabis. He was a minor player, like 5% owner. We did that together, okay? Straight black dude, gay white dude, together, okay? So uh, the other thing is, a year ago, to this day, I was on a work assignment up here in Mount Vernon. I was right down the street. I stopped to do the meeting on the 15th of February. In that meeting, I is, is in the video I currently have out, you'll see that I told them that the same thing was going to repeat itself this time, okay? It's going to be a situation where you have uh, their cronies and people already established getting more licenses. And sure enough, I look up and I find Dennis Turner got that license, uh, got another store, and they're under King 5, and those yellow journalists are trying to proclaim that this guy is some type of a new candidate when he's not. Uh, he has had these entities for some time. He had a, a Cloud Knight entity for years. And it's just a different name now. And that's what's gone in Arlington, okay? There's Joey and, and me four, four, three and a half years ago, right? So anyway, uh, you know, he's been around. And he, not only was he around, he and his partner, here's more about him, okay? This is a story from when his brother was abducted and murdered. Unbelievable story. I, I just, I feel for them so hard on that. But uh, as for everything else, he and his partners are abusive. Okay. Here's Lucid. He'd been around at Lucid also. Okay. Then uh, also, uh, he was on with uh, Stephanie Viscovich and Jordan Aguiar. Uh, and registered trade names Euphoria then. Uh, here's Lucid again. And then he also... Uh, yeah, there, there's more too. There's a, there's another entity too, but there's another. There was another Cloud Nine entity. I just don't have it in this stack of information. But anyway, so that, that's the deal. So the, this, here's the point: was the rubric set up to give people who are already in five hundred two establishments with licenses was social equity supposed to help them or the people like my friends that Sammy just talked about who were black pioneers or who won the lottery, the so-called lottery. Uh, which Daryl Powell, the NAACP, said was a sham. Uh, you know, Libby Haynes won that lottery. The only black person I know, the only nigga I know of that won it. And then they changed the rules. And then they changed them back later, but she never got a license. And now she's in appeal on the other situation this year because they, they screwed her again. Okay, so back to Dennis, though. Here's the thing. I wouldn't be so angry if it weren't for the fact that Dennis and his buddies abused this woman. I said it before the meeting last time. They financially raped her so bad, she ended up with the company. Yes, that's right. Alkaloid Cannabis Company, which now has me blocked on Facebook. I can't go anywhere. I can't. They, won't, they don't call me at the board meetings. She's blocked me on Facebook. This whole thing is a sham. That's the point. It's all bullshit. So, you know, <laughs> there's no way that they didn't know about Grider versus Quinn. And I'll, I'll give you the case number in case you want to say that I'm lying. And in it, she said it was three against one. I'm, I'm, I'm having this discussion now with somebody in Arlington. And she's like, oh, that wasn't really Dennis. The hell it wasn't. It's in here. She said it was three against one. And she had to like forego payment a, a week or a month of payment or something just to get back in the store. And she said, I quote, I'm not going through that crap anymore. But yet, these are the kind of people that they're rewarding. Just like I said, exactly a year ago to the day, it was February 15th. I was standing about 1,500 feet down the road. Yes, I was. Well, I was actually sitting in my car. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so that's kind of what I had to say today. And um, yeah, 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 the conduct of these people was not acceptable. And I don't know if I'm falling into a, uh, a black abyss when I show up or they can't see me. But maybe if, if it's dark enough, I'll smile and you can see my black ass next time. You fucking crooks. Seriously. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's just unbelievable. Right. Yeah, black screen. That might, This is what it might as well be. Yep, seriously. She's Louise.